you're gonna hear that a lot of times that'll happen when you unlock the door sometimes when you get in it if your jeep wrangler is making that weird knocking noise it sounds like it's coming from the dash well this is probably the video for you good morning and welcome to another episode of bubba's garage i hope you guys are having a fabulous day guys it's been a quick minute since we talked last and it's cold it's raining here in texas and i have a jeep project that i need to work on i actually have a the blend door actuator that we're going to replace on bobby's 2016 jeep wrangler jk it's nasty out but it's not that bad but i'm gonna pull the side by side out and we're gonna pull in bobby's jeep we didn't start on that it's been a really long time and uh well it's honestly it's been that way for probably about six months now ever since we moved the new hq and well we did get we did get some wait we got some new 32s and we're, we're actually not 32s they're 33k 02s we're actually going to talk about those in an upcoming video because she is still running the stock wheels on this thing and uh, well a lot of people ask how big can you go and of course this is not a jl it's a jk so we're going to talk about that not today i got to get this blend door actuator replaced we thought this little fella stay and warm up there a little bit i need to get out there to the barn and uh start up all the other things lawnmower lawn tractor that kind of stuff but what can you do one thing at a time All right, I get everything in here now. What I want to do is test it. So, is your Jeep Wrangler doing this? Didn't do it. Didn't do it. You're going to hear that. A lot of times that'll happen when you unlock the door. Sometimes when you get in it. If your Jeep Wrangler is making that weird knocking noise, it sounds like it's coming from the dash. Well, this is probably the video for you because it is most likely your blend door actuator. Now, the blend door actuator is actually located just down there, right next to the climate control system. And you can reproduce that test by just changing it up a little bit. All right, so... What that means is the blend door actuator is a little module that controls a little flapper that goes behind your, well, for your vents and stuff like that. And probably there is a tooth broken off in a gear. And uh, well, you know, who knows? Maybe one day we'll 3D print a new gear for these things. But the part is really cheap. It just takes a little bit to replace. And that's what we're gonna do right here on Bubba's Garage. So what we're gonna need to do is raise up the steering column all the way to the top. And then we're going to need to take this panel off, slide our seat back, and then there's a couple more brackets in there. I'm not going to go through the full details of exactly how to do that. I'll show you some B-roll footage of it. But if you've seen any of our other videos, we've done this like a thousand times. It's just it's that crouching dragon hidden thing in Majigger where you got to get all underneath there. That's the hard part. So if there's any uh, obstacles or anything like that, I'll be sure to point them out. But right now, I want to get this knocked out. looks like the blend door actuator is right behind that air vent there we gotta remove all of this other stuff and get it out of the way so that's kind of the fun part of all of this there's a lot of obstacles but in the end you're just kind of removing all this stuff and getting it out of your way just make sure you pay attention i'll add some couple of pointers at the end of the video kind of give you a little bit more details and in, into what i'm having to do here but right now we just we just removed a couple of brackets so that we can get a good visual. It looks like uh, we're gonna knock out that right-hand side there. All right, so, so far, that wasn't all that easy. I actually had to manhandle quite a bit of it. 
So let me show you what I got out so far. This is the first cover. This was the second. We took apart the right bracket on the right hand side. Not sure exactly what this is, but we went ahead and moved that out. Getting this out was actually a challenge. I ended up having to take, you probably saw it in the video there, two screws loose on the bottom of the uh, dash so that I can kind of bend it a little bit and then it popped right out of there. Let me show you the actuator. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's this piece right here. It's this module right here. It's got this little arm on it. I think the new one, uh, you reuse that arm, but that is the actuator we're looking to get out now. I think we can get to it. It looks like uh, some Phillips screws there, there, and we can unplug that thing and uh, take it out and uh, inspect it. So let's go and do that. All right, so here is the old actuator and here's the new actuator. Now, I don't know if this is uh, really relevant or not, but I, I made sure that everything was turned off on the air conditioning, um, the fan, the blower motor, and turned it all the way to AC. Um, it was pointing down. Uh, I don't know if that's the right way to do it or not, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and move it over to this one. But if you look, and you may not be able to see it, but on the new one, there's a slight gap on the teeth. There's no, there's no tooth on this side. On this one, it looks like it is the same. Let me, let me pull this off. I'm gonna do this one-handed and set that aside. So you kind of see with them lined up right here, you got the gap of the tooth there and there. They're about the same. So I should be able to, well, maybe, should be able to put this in in about the right position. Let me. Let me do this with my hands and then. All right, so that's what I got. Moved it over. I mean, I, I don't know if that's right or wrong. I guess we're gonna find out when we put it back together. Um, but uh, this is the bad one. We'll open it up and take a peek at it here a little later. But right now we're gonna set that one aside and we're gonna go get this one installed. And when you go to install this, make sure that you look for this little key right here because there's gonna be a tab that goes right through that that's gonna line up your holes for your screws there, but that's what you're gonna target right there when you put it in. So that's what we're gonna do first. Hopefully uh, you can see this on video, but I'm ripping my hand, wrapping my hand around the bottom, sticking the bottom into the flapper door. And on the very top, I am going to set that key. about right there we should be good to go now i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and plug the power into this and put my hand on that and uh we should be able to put our two screws into this thing and uh move on so i'm gonna put in a couple of screws and then we're gonna test it out all right got my screws in let's run a quick test on this and uh let's see what happens? All right, guys, got that knocked out. Honestly, it was not that bad at all. One out of five Bubba thumbs. I would, I would probably give it a three just because you got to really manhandle the vent part, um, getting that out of your way so that you can replace it. Um, I will say this. Um, I focused a lot on making sure that that arm that I took off the old um, actuator and put on the new one was in the exact same angle. Um, that worked out fine. I mean, I took it off and changed it just because I was curious and I put it back in and I was off by about four or five teeth, totally different. It started this way. I put it on like this, plugged it all up. It didn't matter. It, it kind of calibrated itself. So I don't know if there's something in the computer that kind of says that once it hits, you know, a struggle or something like that, that it just, it just stops. It just, it worked out just fine. So I wouldn't focus on it that much, but try to get it lined out if you can. But if you get it a little off, I don't think it's going to matter. Um, this is the old one that came out. It does have a broken tooth right there. 
I believe you could probably turn the dial slightly off a little bit. I mean, think about it, that blend door actuator, it doesn't go a full 360. It's probably using maybe 180 uh, of that entire gear. So you can probably turn it off, slightly off, um, and it would probably work just fine. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna put it back together. As far as the tools that we used, I mean, you know, Phillips screwdriver, a 10 mil, um i think i got a, a six uh and a, no i got an eight yeah i got a six and an eight so a ten a six and an eight mil is what i used and uh basic uh well i only use the flathead screwdrivers just to pry some things out of the way otherwise a phillips screwdriver you need a really long extension so just heads up on that but that's about it so hopefully you guys uh learned something from this and be sure to check there's other youtube videos out there i think the biggest thing is is just like anybody else, Bobby had this noise and she didn't know what it was. So you gotta research the noise. So um, hopefully this kind of tells you what that noise might be. Um, almost guarantee you if it's anything like this video, it's probably gonna be that blend door actuator. So just a heads up, we do have a disclaimer down at the bottom of this video. I will say this, I don't recommend turning the key on and off on the vehicle um, while you have a few electronic components disconnected. That little control board that we took out of there, I, th I did a Google on it. I think it is the controller for the transmission. Um, when I put everything back together and I started the vehicle up, I had a few engine codes. Now I do have the tools to reset those. So that wasn't a problem for me, but just a heads up, um, it's probably best that if you take that control board out or any other control boards in there out, um, don't turn the car on and off, just, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. All right, guys. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you want to stick around and find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Not everybody.